last but not least, one bag of 4000, the Mad Bull Airsoft Precision Grade BB. Um, I've been using these for a while. Now, those of you who saw the Bio Balls um, testing video just uh, I put up a few days ago, you'll be thinking, well, these aren't biodegradable, uh, so what's the deal there? <coughs> well, well, let's have a look. No, these are not, absolutely not biodegradable. It talks about their, uh, talks about their biodegradable ones on the packet, but these are not marketed as biodegradable. I'm pretty damn certain that they're just not. What they are though, very, very good quality BBs. I've been using these as my standard ammunition, all the games I'm going to, all my testing, etc. for about two years now. Um, normally I go with the match grade. Uh, unfortunately, fire support made a very slight uh, sort of slip up and I've got the 42 gram precision grade. <coughs> However, the only difference is the precision grade, they are still 5.95 millimeters plus or minus 0.01 mil, guaranteed by Madwood. I can't test this myself. I'm not going to go through a packet of 4,000 with a micro caliper, digital caliper, and check every one. That's mental. However, I've never ever had a jam, BB related jam, using this stuff. Um, you know, the biggest it could possibly be is 5.96 millimeter, smallest it might be. 5.94 millimeters diameter of the BB. Um, so yeah, they are really well made. Not too expensive either. Uh, fire support to bag of these of 4,000. Generally, you get bottles of 3,000 or bags of 3,000 from most manufacturers, but these come in fours uh, for about 12 quid, uh, which is about the same price that you'll see bottles of 3,000 of a lower quality brand. So you're getting more, better quality, about the same money depending on where you shop or generally you tend to find that actual skirmish sites are fairly expensive for buying BBs themselves. But yeah, I've been using the standard. I think I will be switching over to the bio balls now because those things really are cheap. They're about, at the moment, they're six quid. I mean, all these prices I'm talking about are before shipping, but at the moment on bio balls UK, they are six pounds for a bottle of 3,000 before shipping, only 0.2 grams. Um, so it does work out a little bit cheaper than these and they're biodegradable. Normally bio BBs cost a fair whack more. So adding every factor together, the bio balls are a lot cheaper. And there's a lot of sites nowadays that'll only allow you to use biodegradable ammo. Now the one I mostly play at, which is X Site Airsoft in High Wickham, uh, they uh, do not have a rule that requires you to use Bio BB, which is why I've been using the Mad Ball for so long. But I will be expanding my sort of uh, feel, as it were. I'll be expanding my horizons a little bit because I'll be getting myself a car very, very soon. Um, and now that I'm not living in Scotland anymore, as I did for a long time, thanks RAF, um, <laughs> I'll be able to get a lot more skirmishing in. So. I'll likely be coming to places where you do need bio BBs. But the Mad Bull ones, the packaging is good. Um, you tear the top off there, but you can reseal it again, so there's no worries about that. It's, they're just, they are really well made. They're very high precision, and the prices on them, I would say, fire support do excellent prices on these things. Really top quality ammo. If you've got a nice quality gun with, so you've upgraded it with a tight ball barrel, or you've bought yourself, I don't know, a VFC SR15 or something, you know, something that costs hundreds of pounds, you know, possibly 500 quid plus. You don't want to be feeding crappy BBs down that hot unit down the barrel. This stuff, really top notch, really, really top notch. So, yeah, um, really another recommendation there for, for ammo. Um, there's a lot of kinds of BBs out there and yeah, you know, generally they'll all be fine, probably, but um, sort of 99% of the time, I, I don't think personally I've ever had a BB jam in a barrel or anything, but 
you don't want that. And generally, people don't carry the long cleaning rods in with them in the field to try and jam down that barrel and, and pop it out. You know. So if that did happen, you'd be a little bit stuck. Uh, but yeah, that is the the Mad Bull Precision Series, points and grams, very well made stuff. Um, and that is the few little bits I've bought just recently. Hope that's been you've. Well, you guys out there find that informative in some ways. Um, I've got a big box of stuff, hopefully, uh, arriving tomorrow from WGC shop. Uh, I spoke to Parcel Fast uh, just ooh, just a couple of hours ago, actually, um, to pay their heinous and insane uh, admin fees for importing my stuff. You know, but hey, such is life. Um, that's why generally I go with TNT or FedEx or UPS nowadays. They all charge you fees, but they give you your stuff and then they charge you your fees. Whereas Parcel Force say, oh yeah, you owe us this money before we'll give you, you know, your stuff that you've bought and paid for and paid to ship over to the UK. If you want it, you'll have to pay us first. It will ransom you. Stand and deliver your money or your airsoft. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, that will uh, I think I'll do for now. Um, I'm not going to try and I'm not going to say oh subscribe, thumbs up, because it gets boring hearing all that sort of stuff. If you like the sort of things I do, you don't actually necessarily need to click that subscribe button, whichever side of the on. I don't know. Um, you know, you could always just favourite my channel in your URLs if you really want to keep up to date with my videos. If you find it easier to subscribe, do that. If not. Don't, I'm very not fussed. Um, I don't mean to sound that I don't like subscribers, of course, you know, all the people who do subscribe to me, cheers, that's appreciated. <laughs> but I'm not here to try and make myself uh, no, mm, gain notoriety or whatever, I just want to try and put out some kind of useful consumer information for us off, just general tips and hints and I've been doing it for about five years and just try and pass on a little bit of my experience, what I buy and why. And if you disagree with me, don't buy the same stuff as me. But maybe you'll think, well yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I will get that brand of BBs or I will go to that particular website next time I want a Molly pouch or something like that. So yeah, um, cheers for watching guys and uh, I'll see you shortly.